So I am here at desmos.com, which is an online graphing calculator. And the goal of this video is to explore how shifts in functions happen. How do things shift to the right or the left? Or how do they shift up and down? And what we're going to start off doing is just graph a plain vanilla function, f of x is equal to x squared. That looks as we would expect it to look. But now let's think about how we could shift it up or down. Well, one thought is, well, to shift it up, we just have to make the value of f of x higher. So we could add a value. And that does look like it shifted it up by 1. Whatever f of x was before, we're now adding 1 to it. So it shifts the graph up by 1. That's pretty intuitive. If we subtract 1, or actually let's subtract 3, notice it shifted it down. The vertex was right over here at 0, 0. Now it is at 0, negative 3. So it shifted it down. And we can set up a slider here to make that a little bit clearer. So if I just replace this with, if I just replace this with the variable k, then let me delete this little thing here, that, that little subscript thing that happened. Then we can add a slider k here. And this is just allowing us to set what k is equal to. So here k is equal to 1. So this is x squared plus 1. And notice we have shifted up. And if we increase the value of k, notice how it shifts the graph up. And as we decrease the value of k, if k is 0, we're back where our vertex is right at the origin. And then as we decrease the value of k, it shifts our graph down. And that's pretty intuitive, because we're adding or subtracting that amount to x squared. So it changes, we could say, the y value. It shifts it up or down. But how do we shift to the left or to the right? So what's interesting here is to shift to the left or to the right, we can replace our x with an x minus something. So let's see how that might work. So I'm going to replace our x with an x minus, well, let's replace it with an x minus 1. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that's going to shift it 1 to the right or 1 to the left? So let's just put the 1 in. Well, that's interesting. Before our vertex was at 0, 0. Now our vertex is at 1, 0. So by replacing our x with an x minus 1, we actually shifted 1 to the right. Now why does that make sense? Well, one way to think about it, before we put this x, before we replaced our x with an x minus 1, the vertex was when we were squaring 0. Now, in order to square 0, squaring 0 happens when x is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, you do 1 minus 1, you get 0, and then that's when you are squaring 0. So it makes sense that you have a similar behavior of the graph at the vertex now when x equals 1 as before you had when x equals 0. And to see how this can be generalized, let's put another variable here and let's add a slider for h. And then we can see that when h is 0 and k is 0, our function is really then just x squared. And then if h increases, we are, we're replacing our x with x minus a larger value. That's shifting to the right. And then as, as h decreases, as it becomes negative, that shifts to the left. Now right here, h is equal to negative 5. You typically won't see x minus negative 5. You would see that written as x plus 5. So if you replace your x's with an x plus 5, that actually shifts f everything 5 units to the left. And of course, we can shift both of them together like this. So here we're shifting it up and then we are we could get back to our neutral horizontal shift and then we can shift it to the right like that. And everything we did just now is with uh, the x squared function as our core function, but you could do it with all sorts of functions. You could do it with an absolute value function. Let's do it let's do absolute value. That's always a fun one. So instead of squaring all this business, let's have an absolute value here. So I'm going to put an absolute, whoops, absolute value. And there you have it. You can start at, let me make both of these variables equal to 0. So that would just be the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. But let's say you wanted to shift it so that this point right over here that's at the origin is at the point negative 5, negative 5, which is right over there. So what you would do is you would replace your x with x plus 5, or you would make this h variable to negative 5 right over here. Because notice, if you replace 
your h with a negative 5. In the, inside the absolute value, you would have an x plus 5. And then if you want to shift it down, you just reduce the value of k. And if you want to shift it down by 5, you reduce it by 5. And you could get something like that. So I encourage you to go to desmos.com, try this out for yourself, and really play around with these functions to give, you, to give yourself an intuition of how things and why things shift up or down when you add a constant, and why things shift to the left or the right when you replace your x's with an x minus, in this case, an x minus h. But it really could be x minus some type of a constant.